It's good to be here at Bad Abbott's. Uh, and, uh, we're grateful to Peter and Anne and for hosting us and and delighted to see that so many people have come out to uh, share this evening of reflection uh, with us. As Archbishop of Boston, Cardinal Sean O'Malley doesn't spend a lot of time in bars, but he made the most of an opportunity to preach to the choir Wednesday night. The Cardinal went to Bad Abbott's Pub in Quincy Center for Theology on Tap, a series of meetings sponsored by the Archdiocese of Boston. Although he doesn't drink, Cardinal O'Malley said he was pleased to be able to share his feelings about faith with more than 200 people who crowded into the pub. He spoke for about half an hour, then took a few questions from the audience. As he got ready to leave, he joked, now we should let Bad Abbots get back to its business. If we really believe in God, passing on the faith, sharing our faith, is not an option. It is an imperative. God is telling us, talk about me wherever you are, when you're at home, when you walk down the streets. Talk about God from the time you get up in the morning to when you fall into bed at night. There are at least 17 million individuals in the United States who for reasons great and small have stormed off, dozed off, or simply fallen through the cracks. We have a responsibility to them. Peter Kreft, a teacher at Boston College, said that in our contemporary society, we have reduced all virtue to one, being nice. And as I always say, and all the commandments are reduced to one, thou shalt not smoke. We live in a world obsessed by celebrities. I always tell the story, I was invited once to a state dinner at the White House, and they sat me next to this charming young lady who said, she introduced herself, she said, my name is Gloria Estefan. I said, oh, I said, do you work here in the White House? She said, no, Bishop, I'm a famous singer. I said, you obviously don't sing Gregorian chant. <laughs> Celebrities have replaced our heroes and heroines for our young people. And oftentimes, these celebrities, for all their good looks, yeah. their talents in singing, acting, or sports, lead lives that are superficial, self-absorbed and chaotic. We must also break the bad habit of presenting the church in such a way that people are deceived into thinking that they can, they can be Christians and remain strangers. The privatization of religion in today's climate of New Age individualism is poisonous to the gospel message of community of connectedness with Christ. We want to share with new generations what we have discovered. Namely, that being a Catholic with a sense of personal vocation and communal mission is a beautiful life. Our mission is about helping people catch a glimpse of the beauty that saves and to have an appetite for that beauty. God bless you. Thank you for being here. This is Dennis Tatz for the Patriot Ledger. You can also see the story in Thursday's paper or visit our website, patriotledger.com.